this edition of Cosmo Times. Turn up the volume because we've got the beat on some of the international musicians that help our cosmopolitan cities march to a different tune. Rihanna and Beyonce. Tell us the word. If I would say one, it would have to be Psy. Open Gangnam Style. Having a little fun in honor of today's Toon Field edition of Cosmo Times. Well, as a show about cosmopolitan cities, we like to see what makes our towns tick. And what better way to do that than through the music? Oh, no better way. Right, so, well, maybe except fashion. Oh, you Chinese women always want to talk about fashion. Today's show is supposed to be about music. It is, but where there is music, there is also fashion. That's why for today's Word on Street, we asked around to find out which music icon the people of Shanghai and New York think look as good as they sound. Now put that down. We cannot focus here. No matter where you travel in the world, music is a super important part of culture. I'm here on the city streets of New York to see which bands or singers people are loving the most from outside of their home. International, so international. International, so international. Well, like I said, I like Coldplay a lot. That's my favorite band for sure. I would say Coldplay is actually my number one. <laughs> Marshall Mantano. Oh, um, Michael Tello. Um, I'm a fan of SNSD. It's Girls' Generation in Korea. Rihanna. I uh, my favorite Irish band would be a singer called Mundi. If I would say one, it would have to be Sai. I don't know. I just like the way he dances. Like the way he dresses. He's a pretty cool guy. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Op, 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 op. The, the lyrics, the, the groove of the music, I like it. You just go on another planet. Rihanna and Beyonce. Their music is very hip, and it's sometimes you have sad music from them, then like jumpy music, pop music. So I enjoy them a lot because they're just great. I love their music. Um, they have a lot to offer um, the United States, and I think their music is awesome. They're very talented. Just like their energy, and they're really good performers. Yeah, their music style and their fashion style. She's very passionate the way she sings. Feel the warmth will never die. We're like diamonds in the sky. International love. Oh, oh. <laughs> hey, didn't see you there. So the people that I talked to on the streets today, they are loving their international musical superstars. A little Coldplay, a little Rihanna, those are the top spots that we heard today. For me, I'm a huge Rihanna fan. Bring me some of that Caribbean love and it's all good. I'm Christy Clements reporting for Cosmo Times and now we're going to go check in with Shanghai. Musicians have been leading fashion trends ever since Elvis Presley put on a leather jacket and slipped back his hair. So today I'm out on the street to find out which pop stars are making fashion waves. Cai Yilin, I think she's a bit more strong, a bit more strong. The band is because she's a bit more strong, 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 she's a bit more strong. 王菲吧，因为身材好，气质好，穿什么都好看。然后她的穿着又是比较随意。贝嫂吧，贝克汉姆老婆维多利亚，我觉得就是很有个性，呃，也是一名辣妈妈。泰勒·斯威夫特着装，呃，很复古，然后非常的淑女。我喜欢王菲，因为是她的感情，还有唱歌，很有味道。陈奕迅和那种古怪啊，然后。和那种，呃 ，freestyle 张狂的那种感觉。啊、呃，我喜欢王菲的，因为她很酷。
像静茹的，因为我觉得她穿着风格比较甜美，然后也是一直走一种小清新的路线。So there you go, some obvious favorites, but mostly the people of Shanghai go for the styling of stars like Fei Wan. The cooler the better, and Yuki, that's the word from Shanghai. Don't turn on the stereo just yet, the best is yet to come. Coming up next, some cross-cultural musicians are packing clubs in Shanghai with their own brand of world music. But first, a look at the multicultural side of New York's hip hop scene. Cosmo Times. Okay, welcome back to this rocking edition of Cosmo Times. <laughs> rocking? <laughs> what? That wasn't cool. No, not really. And anyway, it's inaccurate. We've got some diverse genres on the show today, but none of them are particularly rocking. Okay, then you introduce them. Okay. I'll just enjoy the nice weather. Our first time into this vast world of international musicians. Quickly. Check out some unlikely New York hip hop artists in this city search. I'm heading off in two days to Berlin uh, to kick off my first official European tour. Um, and we're going to be filming a music video in Berlin for one of the remixes of the single that we just released, Meka. Reggae rapper Meja One is taking the world and music industry by storm. The Spitfire was raised in Singapore and Canada and travels regularly to Jamaica to write and record music. I've been really blessed to live a life where I've grown up. When I was a kid, I traveled all through Southeast Asia. So Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore. Um, I grew up on all those different islands and immigrated to Canada. Little by little, I started to realize that I've been living not uh, conscious of what I look like to other people, but there definitely is a lot to be said um, with culture clashes and cultures working together, and these are things that really inspire my music. Meisha One's reign as the queen of the international urban music scene is far from over. She's the winner of two Southeast Asian Independent Music Awards for her songs Warrior's Tongue and Everybody. Meisha has collaborated with Grammy Award winning producer Che Vicious, Wu Tang's The RZA, Pharrell Williams, The Game, and Talib Kweli. I realized very quickly that the offers came with um, a lot of stereotypes attached to them or with a lot of, uh, uh, I guess, conditions attached to it. So I realized that I had to learn the business as much as I had to learn the music, learn to read contracts, learn to write my own contracts, and just started my own business and moved independently since then. Whether she's spinning records or dreaming up her latest hook, Meisha One stays true to her passion. By following her dreams, she hopes she'll inspire audiences to follow theirs as well. Definitely to learn the history of the music industry. Um, find an artist that you've always looked up to and see how they made it. And kind of compare what you would do, what you wouldn't do, what's more yourself. At the end of the day, I would say that especially as a creative soul, you have this gut instinct that's at the pit of your belly that you can't deny. And if everyone's out there, you know, being a naysayer and saying, you can't sing or you can't rap and putting you down, if in your gut you know that what you're doing is right and you know that this is your calling, then never listen to anybody else and keep going. Persistence, fine-tuning your, your skills and learning the business so you don't get ripped off. Or just get a good lawyer. The Caribbean vibe continues to take over New York as we explore the music of one local group with international roots. Meja One isn't the only artist bringing Jamaican flavor to the urban jungle. Young Jugs, Remix, Drugsy B, and HBK Cali are the four artists behind RSNY. The group's combination of reggae, hip hop, and R&B makes waves from their hometown, Far Rockaway Queens, to the islands of the Caribbean. You know, growing up in the 90s, we all we went through a lot of a culture shock, basically, of when hip hop and reggae was fusing. And today in the 2000s, we're doing something what we call fusion music. 
For RSNY, their recipe for success is a combination of musical elements. They fuse different genres of music into one, creating a story through sound. It's our Caribbean background. It's like hip hop with a different twist to it. And then when we do the reggae, it's like, wow, they have hip hop mixed with it too. And it's different. Like most people put out their records and it has a certain sound, but when you hear ours, you'd be like, wow, I've never heard this before. It's really groovy. Top like a beard, clean like a mirror. Uh -huh. Yard man fresh like GQ front page. Yeah. Y'all got long, but no man has them can't be here. Blocks me, when me the cop, they miss me for days and say. RSNY is taking their love of music to an international level. By combining hip hop and reggae, RSNY aims to bridge the musical gap between the U.S. and Jamaica. Musicians from all over the world aspire to send a message to their fans. We found out how RSNY is trying to do the same with their audience and fans around New York and the world. Be yourself, you know, to, um, do what you feel, you know, don't be afraid of what others think and always want to make a difference, you know, just try to do something that you think you can't do, don't be afraid. As demonstrated by these up-and-coming musicians, you'll only find success if you go by the beat of your own drum. Do you like the music? Of course you do. So stick around because we've got more exotic beats to come. After the break, we take you home to International Shanghai and meet a group of musicians taking music across cultural lines. Welcome back to Cosmo Times. Are you enjoying yourself? Oh, I, I love this part of Shanghai, Shanghai Conservatory. All these little music shops, it's so nice and sweet. Uh, it's okay, but it only represents a very tiny part of Shanghai's music world. Recently, our very own music enthusiast Rachel met up with a band of very international musicians and got a taste of just how global Shanghai's music scene is. Check out this week's Shanghai City Search. We all know that music is a universal language, but how much do we really know about world musicians and their music, and how may it connect us from one city to another? Big questions on today's City Search, so let's follow our Cosmos host Rachel as she discovers the international sound of soundscape right here in Shanghai. On this beautiful sunny afternoon, I've come out to a local studio where I heard there are five world musicians jamming it up and getting ready for their upcoming concerts. So let's head inside, see what they're all about, and find out just what is world music. Hey guys! Hi. Hey! So why don't you each introduce yourselves to me and uh, tell me a little bit about these cool instruments you have in front of you. My name is Rasa, I come from Poland. And in the band, I play a variety of percussion instruments. This is an instrument that I named Jembek, just because it's uh, something in between Jemba, African Jemba, and uh, Middle Eastern Dumbak. So this is an instrument that you invented yourself? I mean, invented, it's maybe a big word, yeah, but I, I made it, yeah. I'm uh, Xiaoyuan. I'm from Shanghai. I'm playing a little bit of music. This one is from the Indian language, the Kenjila. Its sound is very special. It feels like it's singing in a song. Oh 
真的太漂亮，真的。Next one, what have you got here? My name is Renaud. I'm French, and uh, in Soundscape, I play um, different instruments, such as this small instrument that is called a joha, but it's very old instrument, and it sounds a little bit like like this. Also, a strange instrument. It's called a didgeridoo. It's an um, Australian uh, traditional instrument. So you're kind of the diverse one. Yeah, because they, um, they only have one note, so I have to adapt to people. I have to come with a little bit of diversity to be able to, to play with other people. And who have we got down here? Hello, I'm Daniel. I'm from Italy, and I play um, the harmonium, which is related to the organ. It originally comes from Europe, but then it became an Indian instrument. And uh, so that's where I learned it. I learned it in India. And uh, it's an instrument which uh, is usually played and accompanies the singing. All right, well, it's so great to meet all of you. This is very exciting for me. Uh, actually, I myself am a musician. Maybe, maybe you can choose one of the instruments, you know, from Renault. All right. And, and we can try to jam something together. Yeah, I'd love that. Uh, so why don't you guys teach me a little bit about world music first, and then we'll get to jamming. OK. What's the concept behind Soundscape? Why did you start this group? I think the concept of, of Soundscape is just to bring people together mm. and, and try to, to bring a diversity of of music based on, on those uh, special instruments. The fact of the matter is that we we playing our music. We really, every one of us contributes in an equal way. And uh, what comes out may actually fall into the category of world music, but it's not what we what we want to do.对世界音乐我真的不太明白 the music we play is really an expression of the cultural diversity of modern times, but also especially of the city, I think. In Shanghai, you have uh, all kinds of people, all kinds of cultural streams mingling, and I think we express that in a certain way, of course. It's not pop, we don't play pop, we don't play jazz. We play a music which is maybe closer to traditional heritage, but that doesn't mean it's uh, strictly that. It's something new. It's something that springs from a cultural heritage and that mingles with our experience in the city in this time. So Rachel, now you know a bit more about our instruments and uh, world music. Uh, would you like to join us for a little jam? Why not? Let's do it. This is Soundscape, and I'm Rachel. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, this 
is not working. What? Why? Were you paying attention? Oh, okay. Musicians from all over the world are performing music from different cultures. What else? But New York and Shanghai, right? Okay, but still, we left the shop because I couldn't focus. Now look at you out here. I want to go back to the music store. Okay, but I want to play too. Sure. But first, you all check out the latest creative art news. Looking 18 forever is something we all dream of, even celebrities. But without a real fountain of youth, we're left to learn beauty tips from the stars, like the recent Mary Claire, Prix d'Excellence de la Beauté. So it turns out there are many ways to maintain your look. You just have to put in the effort. Shanghai Fashion Week wrapped up yet another successful year, but this time local designers offered more than just fashionable and wearable items. Don't think that being eco-friendly has to be tedious. Lace, floral prints, and geometric patterns are still flourishing. And at the end of the day, fashion is all about attitude. Just because denim is most people's go-to wardrobe piece, it doesn't mean the seasonless staple is devoid of intervention. Now, custom jeans are available at Lee. If a nameplate is not enough, denim dresses with flower-shaped cutouts should attract the more feminine dressers. After all, it's all about the details. From clean whites to cabana stripes to bold, bright colors, the spring-summer 2013 Folly Folly collections are the hot ticket for anyone wanting to feel like they're on a glamorous Greek island getaway. And don't worry about overdoing it. The rule for this season's It Girls is more is more. Be the center of attention. Be the life of the party. So what are you waiting for? It's time to dress like every day is a vacation. Okay, I think I'll pick the piano. You can play? Oh, yeah. All right. All right, all right. First things first, mm -hmm. that's it for this eclectic music edition of Cosmo Times. Tune in again next week for more hot topics from cosmopolitan cities. Now, let's see what you've got. All right, let's see if you can keep up. This is how we do it in Shanghai. <laughs> Shanghai's music scene. Check out this book. <laughs> International musicians, it's your cue to say quickly. Quickly. <laughs>